oneness creating events that human beings have ever been involved in. The birth of the one who came to give life to the Son of God. Now, Joachim and Anna, it seems to me, also present to us a model of you know, how couples go about living their spiritual oneness. And I, and I already mentioned some of this. Uh, it, it's, a very, it's a very simple model. They, they simply live their faith together. They live their faith together. We're going to talk a little bit later about just what that means, to live our faith together. But they embrace the practices of their Jewish faith tradition. As I said, they brought their sacrifices to the temple. They gave their income, so much of it, to the temple and so much of it to the poor. And they prayed. And God blessed that mutual faithfulness. And they serve as a model for us as Orthodox Christians who are married. Because the same thing can be true of us. We can adopt this model, this simple model. Live your faith together. God has provided us in our faith these beautiful ways the ascetic life, fasting, prayer, almsgiving, the sacramental life, which includes the Eucharist and confession and so many other things. God gives us these things in order to experience oneness with Him. God meets us in the ascetical and sacramental life of this holy faith. And something wonderful happens in a marriage when two people mutually embrace those life-giving, life-sustaining, unifying practices together. When those are practiced within this intimate context, the intimate context of a marriage, and not just in the larger context of the church, but in the intimate context of a marriage, transformation happens in glorious and tangible ways. You know, unfortunately, I think it's far too easy for us to to separate church life 